If you don't know this, if you put a gray Sharpie on black, you can still see it. So if you can't find white tape, please buy some gray Sharpies. back with another what's in your kit but this time from a slightly different perspective we stick mostly to pro audio live sound on the channel but based on the number of questions i get about the topic you're probably seeing a fair amount of video and streaming on your jobs these days too Working with video in the room or dealing with incoming and outgoing streaming services are part of the job now, and just like audio, they have some handy tools to make life easier. Maybe you're a small sound company getting requests from clients to add streaming services, or you're an independent audio tech diving into corporate or house of worship AV for the first time. In this episode, we'll hear from experienced AV and streaming technician Omar Colom about what he carries in his kit and what tools are important for his work. You can find Omar on Facebook where he runs the AV Educate group with nearly 2,000 members all sharing their audiovisual experiences. There are some wicked reflections happening in the room he recorded this video in, but bear with it. I think you'll enjoy the look at what he's carrying all the same. Huge thank you and welcome to the channel, Omar Colom. As it's Omar Colom again from AB Educate. Uh, I'm gonna show you my workbox right here. So this is my Amazon Basics case. I got this through Amazon, it's about 150 bucks. It was large, um, not as good as the Pelicans, but um, pretty, pretty robust as, as it gets. Um, this was my backpack that I use, and we're gonna go through these in a second, but this is my backpack. These two things come with me on show site everywhere I go. Uh, clients are expecting this from me, and it's, it's what I bring to the table as part of my part of who I am, part of my service. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys right now. I'll uh, show you what I got. So I carry with me everywhere a Blackmagic A10 Mini. Um, I use this for a lot of breakout stuff, Mini GSs. Um, this has a very cool functionality. There's a four HDMI in, four SDIs, um, aux is out, SDI out. Um, program and stuff like that. Um, this thing comes in handy a lot for also little pop-up things. When I do graphics, I try to use this sometimes so I can take control um, or anything else in general. And I do charge for these sometimes when I am I'm on a show site and it's like a pop-up for the client. I have these available for them or myself. Uh, so this is always in my kit. I also carry around me a tool. Uh, you can get this at any marine store. Uh, these are really good for screens. Uh, I do not recommend them though if you're gonna go crazy with them. They can break the snaps. But for those hard to do screens in cold weather, these are very good. They're the exact size of the screen. Uh, Maritime sells these actually for boats. Um, so if you do get one of these, be careful because you can't break the snaps with these. Another thing I carry with me, thanks to my buddy Rico, is I carry levelers for when I do blends, bigger screens, wide screens, or, or uh, screens without borders. I try to use these guys a lot um, in my car. I have also two stands for these, um, one for my Rico, one that I own myself. Uh, so again, thank you Rico for these. These have been a lifesaver uh, throughout the year so far and I really appreciate that. Uh, I also carry this guy with me, which is a web streamer. Uh, you get this from Blackmagic. I also have the face for it. It allows me to see the content before it goes to my, to my live stream source uh, through one of my computers, which I have two in the backpack. Um, so that's how these guys work. I also have this in my case. I also carry with me a recorder or a playback system. These are very cool. They just take a little SD card. I used the one that came with it, unfortunately. I don't have more. Um, but these are very cool. They're very good for pop-up stuff when it comes to um, either signage or verbiage or anything that needs to be done on a screen. You can just plug these guys in real fast, get a real good content, or use this as backups, or use these with this guy in convergence to do logos and things like that. Um, so that's something I carry in my kit. Um, I also carry an audio tester for audio things between my personal cables and whatever the client provides me. I like to test to make sure I have everything ready to go. I also have a video one that is out right now, unfortunately, from Digital Forecast. It's a little red one. Um, it's kind of getting some popularity in the industry right now, but it's got a monitor on it and it tests video signals. This is just for audio. Um, I do own one, so I just wanted to bring that up. I don't have it here, unfortunately. I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, I have a little JetBlue. Gibson got me onto these guys. Uh, Flew JetBlue, they give you little packets for the headphones. Inside here, I carry all my thumb drives and, and different miscellaneous things I need on the show site. Um, if you do video like I do, you get these all the time. Clients don't really get them, take them back, so I just put them in here and I use them over and over again. Uh, or I give it to a client when they want it, right? I also have a laser range finder. Home Depot buy right here. Um, this one's 150 feet, a little more expensive. Uh, also has a level on it, which I use for a lot of my, my blends and convergence. But uh, that's something I carry. This is super important for me. I always redo the math when I get on site in case uh, I had not do it myself. I like to redo the math and make sure that what I'm doing is correct. I also carry a sound port. Um, this comes in handy a lot for little things, pop-ups, you know, or for yourself if you're gonna break up by yourself, you wanna add some music, um, I, the little things that you wanna do uh, if you're in the industry. So carry one of these. 
Um, I also have a shore bag that I got. You can get this from any one of your clients or, or just buy a microphone. Um, I, in here I carry a more modern updated Logitech. I also carry another Logitech in here as well. So I have two of these. Um, these come in handy as well all the time for different things. Uh, and inside this bag I just have miscellaneous adapters and things that I might need for a show site. Some headphones if I'm on a concert. A little tweaker in here as well. Um, thanks to Dak Larson for this little guy. This has been great. Little adapters. Um, now we get to the cool part here. I got two decimators. These are my favorite. These are my go-to. I love these guys. Um, I always have two for the black magic switching um, and just for little knit and things like that. These are literally a lifesaver on almost every show I go to. Um, I'm almost ashamed to admit that I've become very dependent on these guys. Um, they help me out a lot of a lot of quick binds very quickly when it comes to signal flow problems and things like that. Um, my next purchase after these guys, which I already have, are the DAC 70s. Those are our go-tos for podiums and things like that. And they're good to have on you for last minute stuff. Uh, and then the last thing I carry with me, which is for my kits, are these USB radio, USB to XLR PCDI boxes essentially. Um, these are also great for last minute add-ons and things like that. Or this goes on my kit. Um, as you can probably tell, this whole piece right here is a video section. I use these for breakouts. Um, I am able to run a breakout without projectors. Um, but this is something that I have for some particular clients. Um, again, or for myself for show site. But this comes with them. And then in my backpack, um, which is not complete yet, unfortunately. Um, very cool this is from graphic design. I love this backpack. I always carry with me some Sharpies. All right, so in here I got Sharpies. Sharpies for day black, and I carry grays. I think more people should get gray Sharpies because uh, we have a lot of black tape in the industry. And if you don't know this, if you put a gray Sharpie on black, you can still see it. So if you can't find white tape, please buy some gray Sharpies. Don't worry about the white tape. Just get the black tape, do a white Sharpie on it. It's, it's the same. It, it works out great. I also carry a little microphone with me, an SM57. Um, you never know you need to voice of God or the pop happens up. These come in very handy as well. Um, I keep it in here. I also usually have more pens in here, but this is what I got for now. Uh, anybody who's been doing stage for at least a year, you never know what the client's going to give you. So if this is my, my oh sh backpack here. I got tons of protein stuff and snacks and things to take on me. Um, and I usually fill this up with little uh, meat sticks and things like that uh, just when I'm on the road. And the last thing I got in here for when I travel a lot. I got books with me. Um, so Laura, Laura Frank wrote this amazing book recently. I've been reading, I'm almost done with it. Um, it's been a little bit of a digestion for me. The verbiage has been different, but uh, very good workflow, very good process, very good book. I recommend it to anybody else who's out there. Um, I recently got the Crush It book. Um, new year, new ideas. Books been good, it's in my bag, I carry it where I go. And then Dan, David, David, Devin E. Gabby wrote this very good book for video guys. Um, also, it's in our app. If you guys don't know about the app, you should check it out. It's in the welcome letter we sent to you. Um, very cool book. They're in my back. I'm still reading it. I also carry with me two laptops. So I have in here two MacBook Pros. These print Pros have PowerPoint on them. They have um, MIDI on them. And a couple of softwares like Resolve that I use for shows. Um, and again, if I do a breakout room, these are my go-tos for that. And then finally, but not least, I have one PC. One PC Mini, an Asus PC. This cost me about $300. I don't recommend doing the same mistake I did. I, had, I ended up having to buy a different software for this because it did not let me allow, it did not allow me to download some things. But this, this on here alone has eVision, Novastar, um, the Barco software, and the Spider software. So I'm able to set up and get a gist of what's going on so I can get a bigger monitor or uh, export this. But, um, but this comes in handy a lot for LED walls. Um, also for running the A10 Mini switcher, just to kind of get a logo in there, whatever I need to, this, this comes in handy for that. Um, and that's pretty much my stuff, guys. This is my, my work box, my go-to. This is what I bring on site. This is what I offer to my clients. Uh, this whole thing right here is about $5,000 worth of gear that I've accumulated over a couple of years, not just overnight. I also have more stuff in my car, um, tools and knickknacks that I think I might need when I go on job site. 
but this is my main bread and butter right here, guys. So again, thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry for the long video, but uh, I felt like this was a good time to kind of bring this thing that I've wanted to talk about this for a while now. And I definitely want to see what you guys have and what you guys are doing out there. Thanks again, Omar, for sharing your kit with us. That was a really cool look at the tools you use and those decimators for sure. I've used a bunch in the past. They're a great, great box for dealing with problems that pop up on video jobs in the real world. I hope we can have Omar back on the channel in the future and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that more detail with the kit he's using, uh, maybe some of his workflow and how he sets all that stuff up and what it looks like all connected up and operating. I'd love to hear any questions from anybody that's thinking about getting into streaming or questions for Omar. Streaming and webcasting has been a big part of my work in the past 10 years and if you'd like to hear more about it on the channel and how to deal with it uh, as an audio technician in the field, definitely let me know and we'll cover more topics in the future. It's something that's becoming more a part of absolutely every job. It started for me in the corporate world, but it's very rare nowadays for me to work on a job where there isn't somebody on site doing some sort of streaming element uh, that may or may not be involved in my role providing audio. So it's good stuff to know about, good stuff to be able to speak the language and getting help from people like Omar, seeing how he works and being able to talk uh, effectively with other people on the job is always a huge help. So thanks again to Omar, leave any questions down below and I'll see you next time.